Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to install Stephenson's Rocket using the software RAID functionality of Linux across two hard disks. Now the first thing you should be aware of is I've already started the installer in expert install mode and I've let it carry on to the first question about partitioning. You see the first thing you get on the screen here is that it has selected a disk for partitioning and is asking how to configure it. This will do the wrong thing if you hit continue. This is the uh, the after effects of automatic install once again taking effect. So we're going to hit go back to come back to the basic partitioning screen and you see I have two 25 gig disks without anything on them. So the first thing we're going to do is initialize the disks for partitioning by double clicking on the header with the disk name. You see now we have 25 gig of free space under each disk. We now need to configure software RAID which will ask to confirm uh, the current changes we've made to disk, so yes, that's fine. We'll create a new device and we're going to use RAID Naught, which is using two disks together with absolutely no data security. So if one disk fails, then you lose access to your data because the data is spread across two disks. Uh, this mode is used for speed, but not for security and we're going to use drives SDA, the first disk, and SDB, the second disk. So we hit continue and yes and finish here. So now you'll see a new hard disk has been added to the list which is RAID NAUGHT DEVICE NAUGHT. Now there's a a problem potentially, a, a quirk of how Linux software RAID works is that it works on partitions not on drives. If you've ever used the, the RAID functionality on your motherboard that works on a drive level whereas the Linux software RAID works on a partition level. So when you join together two partitions, and you see here it created a, a full disk partition on both disks the result is a single partition created in the RAID system. But this isn't enough for us. We actually want to create more than one partition. So what you do is you combine together Linux Software RAID and Linux Volume Management, where Volume Management allows you to turn uh, one partition or multiple partitions across any number of disks into a big flat storage area then you can carve that out into partitions as you see fit. So we're going to take our RAID partition here, double click on it, and change the use as to physical volume for LVM, Linux Volume Management. And we're done. And now we're going to configure the Volume Manager. So save changes. There are multiple levels of how things are configured. You have physical volumes, which are any number of partitions, volume groups, which is a bundling together of those partitions to create flat storage areas, and logical volumes, which are partitions inside a volume group. So the first thing we need to do is create a volume group, which we will call SteamOS, and we are going to insert dev md naught, which is the the RAID device, as a physical volume in that volume group. So now you see we have one used physical volume and one volume group. We have the option here to create a logical volume. Uh, select where we want the new volume to be created. We're going to create it in the SteamOS volume group. We're going to call it root and we're going to make it 10 gigabytes. Now 
If you're doing an ordinary simple SteamOS install, the recommendation is to create four partitions. The Brute Partition, the Swap Partition, the Recovery Partition, and the Home Partition. Now, the recovery system used by SteamOS does not work with RAID and LVM. So we're going to skip creating the Swap Partition and the Recovery Partition, and we're simply going to create the Root Partition that we already did, and another logical volume for Home. So we're going to call that one Home, and create it at full size. So now you see we have no free physical volumes, one used physical volume, one volume group, and two logical volumes. And if we hit finish, it sends us back into the partitioner with another two drives created. This one here, which is VG volume group SteamOS LV logical volume root. And this one here for home. So we set this, use as ext4 file system, mount point slash the root file system done and for this one we change the use as to ext4 and the mount point to home and we're going to hit finish to write all our changes to disk now you get a warning here because you haven't created any swap space this is intentional as I just explained so we don't want to return and we hit continue. And from here on in, installation will proceed as normal using installation across two partitions on two hard disks. So hopefully this will help you if you want to do an installation using MD RAID and or LVM.